Hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how you can refine things with after keying. And we'll also learn some advanced keying techniques afterwards. So let's start by dragging the footage of this lovely girl into our composition window. And we'll choose the first eight seconds of the footage and reduce the work area to the size that would suit us best. Let's trim the comp to make it fit. And first of all, we'll stabilize our footage. So let's head over to Tracker and Stabilize Motion. If it's not open, simply go to Window menu and choose Tracker there. All right, so now mark position and rotation. And after that, we can start adjusting the track points. We'll put the first one over here. and the second one over there. All right. Now let's play it. Wait for it to complete. Very nice. So hit apply, apply dimensions X and Y, okay? And as you can see, the footage is now completely stabilized. So now we can delete those trackers, we don't need them anymore. And also disable position. All right, and then you'd wanna select the footage and pre-compose it. I'm gonna call it girl in the black dress. Remove all attributes and hit OK. Now let's clean it up. So head over to effect, keying, and choose color range. Pick the color with the eyedropper tool. Set fuzziness to about six and just start cleaning using the second eyedropper. Close the alpha channel so you can see it better. And use eyedropper several times until you clear the entire background. Also here, all right. Let's leave that shadow. Let's apply a key cleaner. It will help us soften the hard edges. Set the edge radius to five. Alpha contrast to 30. Okay, as you can see now it looks very nice. So now we just need to get rid of this white edge over there, but that's pretty easy. We'll just go to mat and apply simple choker. Choke mat set to one, all right. That looks great. Although we might need to refine her hair a little bit more. So let's apply color range again and do that. All right, that's way better. Now we'll head over to our project window to import the background image. And we'll make it smaller. All right, liking that. So now I'm gonna select both the girl and the background and open after keying, which is refine details, soft, and click create. Make edge detail solo, and just play with the values a little bit to get a, a better result. 
Restore the hair, keeping the background white. Okay, let's take a look now. All right, the hair is back. So since we couldn't make the background completely white, that also affected the environment. But you don't have to worry about that. We'll fix that in a moment. So let's select Edge Details and draw a mask over this area since we only need to restore the hair. Increase Mask Feather by something like 200. Okay, great. Let's check that again. And the hair doesn't look good. So we should soften them up. So let's apply Key Cleaner and set Edge Radius to 30. And that's it. Now her hair looks clean and beautiful and this just makes her very happy. But let's make it so that the, the second Key Cleaner only affects the hair. Let's select Mask, Edit Copy, select this girl come, and Edit Paste. Then open Effects tab and choose Key Cleaner 2. Hit plus sign, choose the mask. Good, now it only affects the hair. And so finally, let's fix the reflection on the chair over there. So to do that, we'll select the girl come, disable the effects we applied, and just quickly draw a mask over it. Change mask mode to none. Adjust it a little bit. Set mask feather. And set the mode back to add. Enable applied effects. Duplicate the com, and let's call the bottom one reflection. Delete mask one with all the effects. For the top one, we'll delete mask two. And let's take a look. Yep, everything's fine now. Maybe we just need a little bit of color correction there. We'll make her a little bit darker. Okay, looks great. And now let's see what we've done. See, that's a lot of hair we managed to grow back. That's a miracle. So let's pre-render and enjoy the result. Looks great. Although, it seems like we should animate the mask. See? Open the mask path. Add a key. Go to the end and move it over to the left. Let's take a look again. All right, that looks perfect. Very clean. A job done by a professional like yourself or your future self. All right, so it looks like that's all for this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.